With your support, we could do even more. Withers, Guardian. What do you support think? Dead Orb. You know the answer, Guardian. With your support, you know come with us, Guardian. Support Dead Orb. Come with us, Guardian. Support Dead Orb. Come with us, Guardian. Support Dead Orb. Come with us, Guardian. Come with us, Guardian. Come with us, Guardian. Support Dead Orb. Come with us, Guardian. Yo, what is up? It's your boy CBT Kung Fu here, back at it again with another shit ass Destiny 2 video. In this shitty video, I'll be talking about how you can grind the shit out of this game and farm some faction tokens. Shit, I said shit a lot. So in this farm, you can get up to 1000 tokens per hour. Actually, that's clickbait. So you can actually get up to 500 tokens or more per hour. Yes, I doubled it for the title. I know I'm a disgrace, but hey, I needed the views compared to my last video that did pretty shit. So go click the link in the description or wait until the end of the video to go check out that video so I do not cry myself to sleep tonight. And yes, if you noticed, I do have a lot of videos uploaded. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's find out how you can throw your life or a lot of hours away in Destiny 2 for loot that you may or may not use. Fun. So not long ago, on September 25th, a new update landed that changed Destiny forever. Not really, it just added extra stuff to grind for. Hi. But on that day, you received a new milestone. It was to visit each faction and then pledge your allegiance to one of them. Obviously, I chose Future War Cult, 1, because they're a cult, 2, they can predict the future, so maybe I want to know when I die. Which, it's gonna take a while to go through all my deaths because I just keep getting rezzed by my ghost. So after you pledge your allegiance to 1, Future War Cult, your next step will be to go to the EDZ and raid lost sectors and do stuff that you don't feel like doing, but you'll do it because you want that reputation bundle. Teleport to the trust land because you're magical and follow my lead. We're headed to the church which I go to from time to time to pray to RN Jesus. Oh, and Devon K lives there. Head to the back of the church where a lost sector is located. This is probably the first lost sector you've ever been to. There will be a hole in the ground that you want to jump in. Then follow the corridors until you make it to just, just a place. So nobody wants to see me running, so I sped it up just for you guys. On its own, I think that deserves a like. When you make it here, there will be three container thingies that you have to destroy. They do explode, so don't get too close. Each one gives you one faction token. Sometimes two of these containers will spawn, but that's okay, it's just a glitch. Bam, and bam. So they spawn in different locations, but it will be very obvious where they are because there is a marker above them. Now you're going to want to follow my lead and we're going to run all the way back. Honestly, we're not running back the entire way, but just follow my lead. This time I won't speed it up for you guys because you need to know where to go for this. So at this corner right here, we're going to turn around right when we hit the Trostland marker. Then we're going to run back and all of these containers will be respawned so you can go back and forth and back and forth and do them constantly. Now sometimes two will spawn, I've only had that happen to me once and sometimes there will be none that spawn. But that is an extremely rare occasion, in 30 minutes I farmed over 100 tokens and that only happened to me once. The next farm will be located on Titan. Teleport to the rig. Here's my location now. As you can see, I teleported right to the rig and follow my lead. From here, turn around and just follow me in my general direction. This direction is where Zer spawned last time, but we're not going there. Right when you make it to these railings, there's a pipe, and underneath the pipes, there are some things you can walk on there. But, oh, damn. Okay, so take two. Jump on the pipe, jump on this walking path, and do not continue forward. But, I mean, you can because there's just, like, a random regional chest right here. So, you want three titan tokens? There you go. Anyway, so turn back and then take a left right down these stairs. 
Honestly, the first time when I walked past them, I honestly didn't see them because I'm blind. But I got three Titan tokens. Crouch down in here, take a right, then run down here, and you're almost there. Take a left, take a right, kind of annoying, and then you are in the lost sector. Now, there are these high thing thingies that you can shoot that explode just like last time, but instead of there being three, there are six every single time. How crazy is that? That is double. So here's one, bam. So just follow my general direction around the Lost Sector because this is where most of them spawn. They don't usually alternate, but they are very obvious where they are. You can recognize them from just what they look like, and there are markers telling you to destroy them. So just don't die when you do this. Destroy all of them before you die because that's just the better thing to do. So there are six of them here. This is like the better farm. This is the best farm ever. This is better than the one on the EDZ. You can farm up to 500 tokens an hour, but I mean, you probably don't want to spend an hour doing this, but for the people that do. So then you're gonna wanna jump up to exactly where I am, kill the last one, and then die standing exactly where I am. You see where I died there? You have to die there so that when you respawn, you respawn all the way back at the beginning and you hit the checkpoint called the rig and you don't even have to run all the way back. But if you don't die in the right place and you respawn in the lost sector, you can still run all the way back, hit the checkpoint that is the rig and come back and all six will have respawned again. But when you die, it just makes it easier because you don't have to do the way back, but you just have to do the way back to where you died. So now the six have respawned again and you can just destroy them over and over again. There is no limit to this. And the milestone that I mentioned at the beginning where you had to raid lost sectors and stuff in the EDZ, well, you probably already did that, but like there's gonna be more of them. There's gonna, I think it rotates for each planet. So it's EDZ, Titan, Nessus, IO. You just keep doing that. If there's probably gonna be a farm for each one and Every single time you can do this, and once you complete the reputation bundle, you get an extra 16 faction tokens straight up to help you out. The last thing I want to mention that it is confirmed that you can only open 30 faction engrams per character per week. You can still open the engrams, but after 30, it only gives you shaders. Thanks for watching, and I'm sure you enjoyed the video, and if you didn't, well then... Yeah, I don't know what to say. So, thanks for watching, you better subscribe, otherwise I will stop uploading my cancerous videos, which you guys probably want, and I kinda hope to see you all in the very next video.